All right, we're on the nose pieces now. I've got a half inch nose piece set up. Same setup, uh, a little bit more precarious because there's not much nose sticking out. We're on the, the holder itself. We've got the shank going down, which is a lot to latch onto. Uh, 5 16 clearance hole, same spacing. So we're going to run a quarter inch through here, I think. And then we'll open it up with a 5 16 and deburr them. See what that looks like for us here. Yep, wrong dimension on the first one right off the bat. Okay. We haven't gone all the way through yet. We'll save this one. Not paying attention to what's going on. Okay. So, now that we've got a hole started, what we're going to have to do is run an end mill down to get us centered up again. Let's see what we've got here. 5 16 ball end mill. And we will just feed this in with a lot of oil. Okay, we got most of that hole cleaned up now. Now, run back in with our quarter inch um, end mill and try that again. Now I'm all screwed up here. Don't know which half goes in. Now, I think while we're here and send it up over the hole, we'll go ahead and open that up. Since we've got that since we've got that hole a little messed up here. Five sixteenths, see if we can get her in there. A little bit of a gouge there, but we'll be all right. And let's move back over to 625 the other way. Let's see if we can get it right this time.
All right. Well, let me show you my screw up here. And we'll uh, move on and do another one and hopefully do it right. Now we're crowding that side pretty bad, but there's my mistake right there. I had my dimensions wrong, started drilling it there. It'll be fine. There's no problem at all. There's lots of material there. It's just a just a goof up that I know is there. And now all the, the YouTube world knows it's there. Anyway, we'll set these aside. I'm going to go ahead and machine out the rest of them. And um, then we'll go back and uh, see if we can't get them assembled. See what they look like. Alright, well I've got the main parts of the machining done. I've done a rough deburr on this stuff. And the only thing I've got left to do is to machine these flats here on the... Well, I've got to machine the flats on the side. And then I've got to drill and tap the side of each of these heads for uh, lock screws to hold tooling in. But this is the way they look when they're done. This one I've already cut the, cut the or machined the sides off of, and I've got to do the other four sets. But they go in there just like that. We've got quarter 28 set screws that go in there. Like that. We've got lots of room for them. And that's what gives us our adjustment side to side, up and down, rotate, whatever the case may be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead finish machining the flats on the side and set up for the set screws and um, then I'll probably go back, bolt them together, lightly touch them on the belt sander if it needs to be and then do a final deburr on them. Then the only thing left to do is mark them and we'll probably put, uh, well we'll number each one as a pair anyway so we've got them numbered. And I don't know how else we're going to mark these. We'll, uh, we'll get closer and see how it looks. But anyway, we're almost done with these. They'll go in the balloon tanks when it's all said and done. So I'm going to go ahead and machine these off. All I did was set up a uh, work stop in the vise. So and got my distance off one side, run one edge up against the work stop, and machine them flat on the, on the other side. They're all the same. All right, time for a little assembly now. We just ran through the old shunt cleaner enough to clean the... Uh, clean the cutting oil off of them. They're still going to be fit and finish and polish on them, but uh, let's go ahead and start putting them together. These are our half inch holders. That Allen head. That's what they're going to look like. Basically, what they're going to look like. I will probably go ahead and set these up in the lathe before I mark them. And there, each uh, each of these holders was done out of one piece of stock, so there I consider them a match pair or a match set. So I'll number them, and then um, I'll probably set them up in the lathe. And just to make sure that there's going to be adjustment, if tolerances are off a little bit, which they shouldn't be, they're awful close the way they are. But uh, I want to get the maximum amount of adjustment that I can out of them. So we'll just set it up in the lathe, go ahead and, and uh, verify that everything's lined up the way it's supposed to be. And then we can go ahead, we'll number them, and uh, mark them probably with the date of manufacture. And then... Uh, Probably all either initial them or do some some such foolishness. Okay, these are the three eighths holders, so they've they're ten thirty two instead of quarter twenty eight for the tool holder itself. I still also have to put the uh, flat on the on the shank of it to uh, for the set screws in the tailstock turret. So 
and we'll figure out how we want to position them. We'll probably play with this a little bit before we final do all the final machining as far as the flats. Make sure we actually want them flat on top or if we want them angled. Whatever is going to be the best to access them and, and get the most versatility out of the tooling. Anyway, five little turret tool holders. They're basically functional now. Uh, like I say, fit, finish, mark them, blue them, and uh, flats on them, and they'll be good to go. So anyway, we'll come back when we uh, when we start fitting them to the lathe, make sure everything's going to line up. But that's a project close to being completed. I'm really happy with those. Those will be a good addition. Alright, here's our little tool holders. Everything's done on them with the exception of bluing them and they'll, that'll just happen when I've got bluing tanks running. But anyway, there's our etching on them. And we've just set our stencil aside. I've already washed it out. You just rinse them out with, with warm water and then we'll uh, dry them out. I put those in a little coin envelope and uh, store them away with the transparency so they're ready to use next time. So anyway, 
that uh, pretty much finishes up this little project. I'm on to making the bushings to fit in them. Uh, there'll be some tooling and things to go along with that. So that's the next step in this process, or this is the next project for these tool holders. And uh, then we can put them into, into production. Actually, the bushings were probably going to turn on the little atlas lathe itself. So we'll, uh, we'll show that as we get that set up and get going. And these I'm really happy with. They've come out real well, and they'll work real well. We'll put them in the toolbox with the rest of the tooling. And uh, move on to the next little step on this Atlas lathe. So hopefully you found something interesting there. If you did, you might want to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you hit the bell notification, you'll know when I put out a new video. And if you like these videos, give me a thumbs up. If you don't, give me a thumbs down, and you might want to share them. And as always, thanks for taking the time to watch.